Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple gift cards to your friends and family this holiday season. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. I figure I could do an episode as my phone and uh, and headphones charge up. Because I was like, I wanted to, um, I just wanted to get like straight into making videos and stuff. But then it was like my phone was um, like dying. Then my headphones, I didn't really even know what the percentage was on my... See, that's the thing I don't like about Beats by Dre headphones. They don't, unless you like open the headphones or they just randomly open up like on your iPhone to let you know. Uh, what the battery percentage is on but it's for the most part you won't know until there's like a white light flashing on your headphones and I can't even see the light right now so I'm like I gotta yeah it's still on red but I'm like bro I just like it's 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 difficult at time with Beats by Dre headphones like with um with I know with those studio beats that I had for the longest they um they had like uh like multiple uh lights that would light up so it'd be like oh so if it was like at one light then it's like oh okay you know then it's like you need to charge it if it's at two charge it three you know you okay to like go out for a little bit but when you get back home charge them so you won't make that mistake tomorrow and be like oh yeah they're good but they're not really but anyways um but no I, I mean I like the like battery the like battery life on Beats by Dre headphones they last forever. Especially my power beats. My power beats, because I use those for when I'm just like chilling and stuff and just want to watch some videos. But I'm like, I don't really want to like waste the battery percentage on my, uh, the solo pros. So I just get the power beats and then just use those and things for when I'm like watching YouTube videos. But if I'm like eating my food, I'll, uh, I'll use my, um, studio. I think it's like one more so just in my room, just chilling. But if I'm like downstairs eating, then I'll use like my solos. Cause it's like, I want to get like that, you know, that movie theater effect. You know, I want, I want the sound to be like crystal clear and stuff. Cause them headphones are pretty nice. The quality in them are pretty nice and stuff, but Dang, I wish I could have, like, I should, like, plug them up somewhere. Oh, they're done, Char they're done, so they're good. So, as soon as I looked over at them and things, they was just like, then they finished, so I'm like, cool. I could turn my fan on and just let some cool breezes just um, go on me um, real quick, because, bruh, it is, it's like, it's not even hot, but it's more so when I do, like, anything YouTube or podcast related, it just gets, like, I don't know if I'm like, I'm, that's the thing, I'm like, I'm not nervous. So I'm like, what am I? What do I have to get hot for? I'm like, that, that doesn't even make it. It's I'm so confused because I'm like, I'm not nervous. Like I could literally do like multiple podcast episodes, YouTube videos. I'm like, bro, if I still get, I'm like, that's the thing. I don't feel it. But I feel like that somebody they'll they'll probably try to tell me like, oh, maybe you're nervous still. I'm like, I'm not though. Like, what do I have to be nervous about? There's literally nothing to be nervous about. But anyways, um, so overall, what I wanted to talk about before I was just ranting about random stuff beats by dre headphones charging and all of that um oh yeah i did so there's uh so i did play on my guitar a little bit but it was like basic stuff but um it is going to be featured in my short film wasteland so uh it's uh yeah it's um it's yeah it's pretty basic it's literally just like playing four notes back to back and stuff so and uh, it's also going to be on my um my next so yeah i need to put out legacy 2 on streaming platforms but uh it's going to, uh, this song it's going to be an intro for my uh album jamal so stay tuned for that i need to get the i need to work on that album and this like rainbow six siege album uh like promoting youtubers and stuff like there's there's a lot there's a lot that i gotta do right now but anyways um but what i wanted to talk about was only fans literally Everybody is going on this app, OnlyFans, and it, or not app, well, I don't think it's an app. It's, I think, yeah, it's just a website, but anyways, um, everybody, literally everybody, there are kids that I went to school with there on OnlyFans, there are YouTubers, models, there is lit comedians, there is literally everyone that is, there's this wrestler, he is on OnlyFans. 
I am tripping out about how many people are on OnlyFans. And I know some of them are, like, you know, doing, like, just... Because I think the comedians are, like, doing, like, uh, just comedy stuff. But it's... I don't know. I'm like, you can very well post that on... Uh, social media that's why i'm like look i i can't be on that website just so i can make some money off of my fans like you know i already have like the um my videos are monetized on youtube that's literally the only way i want to make money when it comes to like when it's just monetized videos on youtube like i you know y'all click on the videos and watch them for free there you go but it's it, it trips me out where i'm like there's people that really go on there just to, i guess like make more money off of people and stuff and i'm like Man, it's messed up. I'm like, I, you know, you can't really have, like, I guess people, they're into that stuff. I'm like, me, I'm like, I don't know. I can't, I personally can't be supportive of some stuff like that. I'm like, it's, it's, it's just kind of messed up. That's why I'm like, my friend, uh, Ray, uh, Ray Rahimi, um, well, some of you guys, well, you guys know her as Ray Rahimi, but most of you guys might know her as, uh, Hot T, um, or know her as both, whatever. But anyways, when she be doing them OnlyFans videos where she be paying for, like, what, Trisha Paytas or Bella Thorne or anybody else that's, like, famous or in the public eye and paying for their OnlyFans, I'm like, yo, it, it trips me out, like, how she can, like, be paying for that stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. Um, my thing is, like, I just, I couldn't do it. I seriously, I couldn't. Especially, it was like, then it was like when the kids at my school was doing it. I'm like, it's just going to be so weird if they contact me talking about, hey, can you promote my OnlyFans in your next video? I'm like, I haven't even, why? No, I'm not, no. This is, that's not what this is going to be like. And I just, nah, I couldn't, I personally couldn't do it. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but no. And I'm not, and that's the thing. I'm like, and I'm not spending, if they're expecting me to do one of those, like, oh, I paid for such and such as OnlyFans, so you don't have to. I am not paying for anybody's OnlyFans for no YouTube video. I'm like, I wouldn't even, not even if it wasn't for a YouTube video. I'm not paying for nobody's OnlyFans. I'm like, if this, if you turn it to free, then I'm like, you know, I might give it a look and then make some video off of it and stuff. But, yeah, I'm not, I'm not paying for anybody's OnlyFans. I'm like, I'm sorry. I can't do it. Um, I don't know. I'm like, it's just, it's, I don't know. I just don't know about it. I'm like, it just doesn't seem right. But anyways, I mean, but that's the thing though. I'm like, I'm not trying to ruin anybody's business. You know, if you on OnlyFans, do your thing, you know, make your money, do whatever you got to do and stuff. But I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm, as I'm saying, like, I can't support it. It's going to probably be in a matter of time where I'm coming out in a video saying like, oh, yeah, so I'm checking out this person's OnlyFans because I really wanted to see what it was about and things, wasting my money. But anyways, I remember I read somewhere OnlyFans wasn't even supposed to be what it is today. Like this, like paying for like porno site or something like i don't know what to really because it's like they got comedians and wrestlers on there so i don't know what to call it anymore it's just it's just a website but originally i think what it was supposed to be was like people they just go on there and then they just it's kind of like another patreon thing so well patreon they be doing the same stuff up on there too so that's what i'm like i just i don't know i think even with patreon both patreon and only fans is supposed to be something where it was like uh, fans just pay for in a subscription to whatever you're promoting so it's like oh if you're doing paintings but you're like you want people to pay for them and stuff then it's like okay here you go but um i see that's so i'm like i don't like it was it wasn't supposed to it was supposed to be something like pg related it wasn't supposed to be something like you know rated rated ao for adults only and stuff remember when video games used to be rated that bro i was like i was always every time when i would go into game stops i would always look for um a rated ao game and never would find them and i'm like bro how do you acquire a rated ao game but i was like now nah, it's like you probably have to like go on to uh some like specialized website or something like when maybe maybe ebay i don't think ebay or amazon will probably have they might i don't know but anyways um but yeah, it was like, I think it was just, it was supposed to just be some chilled site. But then, um, I guess like, uh, porn stars, they just seen it as an opportunity to, uh, make money and stuff. So I'm like, man, that's crazy. It's like, I just, that's, that's some insane stuff. But it just, it, it, man, it trips me out. I was like, I was seeing kids from my, there was like one of my friends, she's like a childhood friend of mine's. Like I went to uh, middle school with her and she's like promoting her. She was just promoting it earlier today. And I'm like, whoa, wait a second, hold on, time out, like, <laughs> like, wait a second, like, I'm not judging, like, I could care less, really, but I'm like, wow, that's some crazy stuff, I'm like, okay, you know, 
do do your thing. Like, I'm not, honestly, though, because I know people are thinking that I'm, like, judging them for that. I'm like, look, there's people out there making money. Like, you got drug dealers out there, okay? You got people out here selling crack on the side of roads and stuff. I'm like, if you, if this is what you want to, and I'm not trying to compare the two, make it seem like that, oh, creating an OnlyFans account is equivalent to selling crack. I'm just saying, there's, like, far, like, well... See, that's the thing, though. I'm like, I'm not... See, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm not, like, I'm not trying to say something, like, rude or offensive or is going to make somebody upset. But I'm like, it's... I would rather do... If, if it came down to it, I would rather do OnlyFans stuff than to sell crack on the sidewalk. Because I'm like, at least with OnlyFans, that's legal. You could very well do that and stuff. Like, selling crack on the sidewalk. I'm like, you can't do that. That's against the law. So, I'm like, I just... Uh, yeah, I'm like, I I uh, definitely would go down... I already said what I would do if I were to create an OnlyFans. I'm like, I'm just going to seriously just... It's just going to be fully clothed photos of me just posing in Jordans. That's it. Like, I'm just going to just straight up just have a photography shoot. I'm like, if you guys want me to post in some uh, infrared sixes and things... Because what? Uh, Bella Thorne, that's what she was doing. She was out here t um, saying for $200... You can uh, see, like, nude photos of me and things. I'm like, that's that's what I would do. But it ain't going to be, like, no $200. It's going to be, like, probably, like, the the regular, like, only. So I'll probably, like, for the for the free content, because I'll have it where it's, like, free. This is my idea with OnlyFans. So it's free, right? You, uh, I, I was like, I had, like, hit my arm or something. I was like, I thought I was like, I, like, felt something. I was like, felt weird. But anyways, um, but, yeah, the thing would be, um, the uh, OnlyFans would be free. Uh, and then it would like, you know, so you would like, I would have like all the like low end Jordans, like where you can look at that stuff for free, but the high end Jordans, like the infrared sixes or some Concord 11s or something, or the Fresh Prince of Bel Air's, those, um, alternative fives that came out. That's what I'm like, you have to spend a dollar <laughs> to look at those, but it'll be like a whole photo shoot. It ain't gonna be, uh, it ain't gonna be, but I'm like, dang. Then it's like, imagine I should do it. Cause I'm like, bro, what if I get like really famous off of that? They all like, oh, dude, selling um, pictures of himself of just wearing Jordans on OnlyFans. I'm like, and I end up becoming like big and famous off of that. I should give it a try, but I'm like, nah, I could not want to be associated with no website like that. I'm like, that's what I'm like. I kind of just, you know, I kind of just want to chill and just, you know, do this stuff for free, <laughs> like post it. That's what I'm like. I just don't understand because when I seen that there was the comedians, they said that they were going to be on there. And they said it was just going to be like more um, like just comedy skits or something. And that's why I'm like, y'all can't post that stuff on like Instagram or it's not like what you guys are doing is illegal. And and that's another thing I think like some people, why they create uh, OnlyFans is because like Instagram be acting weird. Like Instagram, YouTube, like them websites, a lot of the websites be acting weird. And um, who was it? It was somebody on TikTok and she was but she doesn't have an OnlyFans but she was overall talking about how uh um like how like I guess it's like a new thing to like shadow block somebody but she was talking about how like her videos be getting shadow blocked and uh but there be like other people on TikTok like in booty shorts is these are her words not mine but she was uh, like she said like it's messed up how TikTok like shadow bans or shadow blocks her and uh but they'll allow like somebody in booty shorts to be like twerking and stuff and that's and and what she's saying is facts like she honestly this girl she's just like a really good dancer i follow her because i'm like yo she's a her name is like jelena or something like that but no she's like she's a really good dancer she's somebody that doesn't be doing just like if she does do tiktok dances like she could do other dances like outside of tiktok dances so you can see she is like an actual dancer and stuff but, um, no, what she's saying, like, she wasn't lying, because I'm like, there be people, I seen the one girl, I kid you guys not, I seen the one girl, she, it didn't look, either she had on, like, the smallest thong of all times, or she just didn't have nothing on him, um, at all, but she was, like, um, twerking and things, and then her shirt raised up, and I'm like, oh, she's getting, she's definitely getting her video taken down, that video, and I, so I, like, I made sure, I made sure I searched her name up, saved it, I checked back, um, maybe the next day, and yeah, sure enough, that video was gone, but I'm like, the fact that the video, I was like, I should have seen exactly when it got taken down, but I'm like, yo, if there's people out here getting shadow banned, or there's people out here, I'm like, yo, I just, I just don't understand, I'm like, there's people out there that's like, with true funny content because i'm thinking i'm like dang am i shadow banned on tiktok because i'll post some videos and i'm like bro i would literally do it like a really like 
famous video and i just feel like that like you gotta really go above and beyond i, I had like maybe one video blow up on tiktok that was about it there or actually there were there were a few um maybe a couple maybe three maybe but it wasn't enough i'm like yo i'd be posting me some good videos and then it's like and then it just the videos just get unnoticed and i'm like bro like i had to seriously like duet and stitch or whatever they be calling it and things like i gotta go and make like a hundred videos just to be somewhat equivalent to like somebody that's beneath charlie d'amelio or something i'm like bro it trips me out how like these websites and instagram it's like there's uh there's like this one model i followed on instagram she was literally getting all her content taken away she had to like her um she had like an account that had like hundreds of thousands of followers and it got taken down and now this girl got maybe like twenty thousand or something like that and all because she was just posting like bikini pics and then eventually she ended up doing the only making an only fans account but yeah, I'm like, this stuff, they need to, like, chill out on these rules and regulations, like, or if it's, like, they're all like, oh, we don't want kids to see that, I'm like, okay, well, then create something for kids. That's why I was, like, with YouTube, it trips me out, like, how YouTube is, like, operated and things, because they're all like, oh, if your videos ain't made for kids, then it's gonna, it's a good chance of it getting demonetized, and I'm like, well, isn't there a YouTube kids? My thing is, is, like, parents should overall be paying attention to what websites their kids is going on rather than like taking your um like the or having it where the actual legitimate content creators that we're out here getting punished for creating the content that we want to create if kids come across that content then they ain't got no um parental like guidance they ain't got nobody to like tell them like oh go here don't go there go here don't go there and my thing is like that i look whatever kids be looking up online they ain't got nothing to do with me but i shouldn't have to be punished or my video shouldn't have to be getting demonetized for what kids are looking i i am gonna make a video talking about that because i'm like who was it that was just talking about their videos is getting oh yeah deji deji was saying so for um deji aka comedy shorts gamer if you guys go look him up pretty uh um famous youtuber over um in the uk i believe but uh anyways um he talked about how he thinks youtube is racist now i personally don't know of that like youtube could be racist youtube couldn't be racist i don't know but uh anyways but no he is like he did make some like valid points about youtube though because i'm like it's, it doesn't really make any sense how like videos uh from like years ago be getting like copyright claimed or striked and i'm like i had like a video when it did i had like a video i just gotten a copyright uh strike not too long ago for those that was uh wondering and um then they're all like wwe wrestlers they're like some of these wwe wrestlers they just they just abandoning uh ship they're all like they don't want to be with wwe no more they like, because AEW, I know AEW is blowing up, but anyways, um, dang, I'm like one subscriber away from 18,700. I'm trying to get um, 20, 20K before the year is over with, but, you know, I just got to post more content and things, but anyways, how I go, wait a second, I was already on the thing, but just start clicking on a bunch of stuff. So, I had a video from... Yeah, this video, I uploaded this video a long time ago. It was a try not to uh, laugh challenge that I did. And it had, like, this guy's video. And it's a comedian that I was all like, you know, I really did. I was supporting him and stuff. But now I'm all like, yo, if you d out here doing stuff like that, I'm like, that's, and yeah, YouTube, they don't give you, like, a, a warning or anything, like, with that stuff. I'm like, yo, just, my thing is, it's like, it's messed up where if a content creator is, like, they got like content because my thing is, is like you know if there's somebody that got my content up and i want it to be taken down i don't want if they got like multiple videos i wouldn't want all of those videos that they worked hard on for whether it's a hater or not i wouldn't want all those videos to get taken down so that's why i'm like yo like just take that one video down but you ain't gotta give them like no copyright strike or uh no strike at all I'm like, you know, unless they're out here posting, like, you know, some really, like, bad content. Like, if it's, like, stuff that's, like, uh, blood and gore or, you know, where it's, like, somewhere it's, like, you know, somebody getting killed. Because I've seen some videos um, that's on, the well, not even on YouTube, but just on the internet in general. Where I'm all like, yo, how does this stuff even get onto the internet? Like, I've, like, that's, I'm like, there's been times when, like, friends of mine have shared videos of, like, people dead and i'm like why would y'all share this who will want to see some stuff like i'm like man y'all y'all are into some different stuff but 
Anyways, um, but no, I remember, no, I never forget when it was like years ago. I think I was a kid when I seen some stuff like that. I was at like a, um, at a young age when I seen those videos. But the uh, JFK assassination. And they still got the one dude that killed JFK. They still got his video up of him get, of the guy that shot JFK getting shot and killed. So my thing is like, y'all have videos like that up, but you guys would trip on like other videos. That's like not even like the video that I had like a copyright strike. It was like this guy was like, um, it was like him and it was a comedy skit of like him like acting up in the classroom or something like that. But I had it as a part of a try not to laugh challenge. But I'm like, yo, if he, like, my thing is, like, if he had just reached out and been like, hey, can you take the video down? I would have taken the video down. The whole video, regardless of how many views it got, I would have taken the video down. And I'm like, yeah, that's just, you know, that's the, the type of person I am. I'm like, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, this video got all these views. And I'm like, okay, then, yeah, then give me a, um, a strike or whatever and stuff if I refuse to take the video down. But if I'm, like, willing to take the video down... Like, I'm like, uh, you know, and, and I think they, didn't they say, like, YouTube is, uh, supposed to, uh, do some stuff like that, like, send you an email or at least send you a warning, like, hey, take this video down within this time. Like, if I would have received some stuff like that, then I would have, but I'm like, I just, no, nothing. I'm, like, looking through, like, all these, like, I guess, like, I got, like, all these, like, uh, notifications, like, important notifications, and it's literally nothing about this uh video so i'm like that's i'm like yeah youtube they need to uh they need to be on that a little bit because i'm like it's kind of messed up to like content creators where it's like we get a strike and now it's like i gotta wait until a certain amount of time before this uh strike disappears and things just to um yeah i'm like i j youtube just needs to you know straighten up on that i'm like you know it's like i'm willing to take the videos down but it's like yo like let me know that I need to take the video down rather than giving me a strike and things. Because it's like, that type of stuff, I don't think they realize that. But that type of stuff, it scares a content creator, especially when they got multiple videos up and things. I'm like, it's not like I'm doing like, I don't know, I wouldn't necessarily say that that's bad. Because you see people getting their videos re-uploaded all the time and stuff from like, older videos, the newer videos. Literally, they had the one, um, there's the one girl, uh, Lel Hansen. She didn't disappear from YouTube, but people are re-uploading her videos and stuff. So I'm like... People do that. It's like, you know, it's just, just give them a warning and tell them, like, hey, take the video down and stuff. But anyways, uh, yeah, I uh, will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. And I have a promo code on uh, SeatGeek. If you uh, want to use it, um, it'll knock $20 off your um, next purchase. The promo code is TMOSBOSS. And the same thing with Vasilo. I have a promo code on there. It's also TMOS Boss. It'll knock 10% off your next purchase. And with Vasilo, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know what SeatGeek is. But with Vasilo, I have an ad on my YouTube channel that y'all can go check out. And uh, it'll like, show you some of the gear that's on that website. And uh, there's also a referral link in the description of that video. And in the um, recent videos on all of my gaming uh, videos and on my main channel videos. So anyways, talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. And peace.